It's by far the largest global assembly of civil society representatives, government officials, policy makers and experts. The United Nations goal to take stock of progress on gender equality and to agree on actions to transform the lives of women and girls everywhere. We cannot accept a world in which grandmothers fear their granddaughters will enjoy fewer rights than they had. We must speak out loud and clear, not on our watch. The week-long gathering here at the United Nations comes at a time when, according to the United Nations, the world is at a crucial crossroads for gender equality. UN data shows that some $360 billion is needed every year if it's to achieve gender equality and women's empowerment. The head of China's delegation, Wang Xiaowei, who addressed various forums and meetings here, says China regards educational equality as the basic goal and policy of modernization. In the new era for China, equality between men and women is a foundational national policy that puts people at the center. We are the proud victors in the largest poverty eradication battle in human history. A staggering 690 million women have, en masse, crossed the threshold into a life of moderate prosperity. 70% of global poverty reduction is attributable to China. Women's empowerment through education is high on the agenda. UN Women, the organizers of this event, say women have the power to demand higher investment in gender equality. It says the return on investment is a guaranteed win for any society and economy. More than 100 million women and girls could be lifted out of poverty if government prioritized education, health care, fair and equal wages, and expanded social benefits. Closing gender gaps in employment could boost gross domestic product per capita by 20 percent across all regions. According to the United Nations, one in every 10 women around the world lives in extreme poverty. This gathering of governments, civil society organizations and global experts in New York will need to agree on actions and investments that can end women's poverty and fast track gender equality if the sustainable development goals are to be achieved. Jody Jacobs, CGTN, New York.